Hello guys, quickly before jumping in, I did want to let you know over on LoanFox.com we are having our last sale of the year. It is 15% off everything. The discount is just applied in your cart, so there's no code, and 30% off of all holidays. So if you want to stock up on some goodies for next year, also I added tons of new arrivals this past weekend, so definitely check it out. You guys, welcome to the TV room. This is downstairs actually in the house. Now today's video is gonna be a little bit different than some of the past ones I posted just because we are waiting on tile now for the kitchen. The kitchen's like 80% of the way complete. As you guys saw in the last video, we did the range hood, we did the plaster on all of the walls, the cabinets are painted, and I'm really just waiting on the tile to come now, which should be here in about two weeks, hopefully. And we're actually giving notice today that we are leaving the apartment. We actually were gonna give it um, a couple months back, but then I mentioned to you guys that I ended up staying at the apartment just for a bunch of the holiday content, so I was still able to create that for you guys this year. And I figured January was a good month to move especially as a content creator january is always a little bit of a slower month just letting you guys in on kind of the background of content i can't believe how quick this past year went by um but we are moving in january which is literally a couple of weeks away so we're starting to prepare we've already brought over stuff rooms have started to get painted shelving has been starting to be put up in the storage space and i thought today i'd just kind of bring you guys along and share with you some of the process and other areas of the home and yeah kind of prepare for moving but the first thing i have to share with you guys is where this sofa came from because i actually got this off the back of a dump truck that was bringing it to the dump let me share with you what it looks like okay so a little backstory because i feel kind of shady calling it a dump truck it was actually a furniture delivery truck and if you remember from the sonza family shoot the couch got delivered on that last day and they had previously delivered a new couch to a different family that got rid of their other couch which was in the back of their truck also get it clean drew what are you doing um, I'm just potentially taking this sofa that they're going to, you know, throw away and maybe put it in my house. Did you really just hop in the back of some random truck and I ask did. if you can have their sofa? I did. I saw it. It connects here and then it flows that way. It'll create a whole corner. Oh, cool. Because I also could like not even do the backs on it and just put like, like different cushions, like pillows across the back. Yeah. Because I really like that shape too. Um, give it a sit, give it a little lay. Hopefully it doesn't have any <laughs> Marie, sit on it. Bugs. It definitely doesn't. It's so clean. It doesn't even smell. This is I the most touch it if it had bugs. This is the most comfortable <laughs> couch I've ever Wait, sat on so in comfy. my life. Okay, but give it the lay test. Spoon on it. Yeah. I'm upset. <laughs> it's giving. Wow. So this room that we are walking into was formerly the downstairs dining room. Now you guys know I have a duplex. I converted it into one home. So the layouts are actually very much the same. The hallway is directly above this hallway. Dining room directly above this dining room. So the upstairs dining room is actually going to be a legit dining room. This is going to be our new TV room, which I'm very excited about because I found this sofa when I was doing the Sonza family house reveal, you guys. Look how perfectly it fits in this room. How is that not made for this little corner right here? And this is just such a cozy little TV room. I am so excited to add a TV on this wall here, um, get a new coffee table. This is also from the Sonza family house. I just brought it over, an additional coffee table we had. Like, look at this reed chair, so freaking cool. The courtyard is outside. And then there's also the breakfast nook right over here. So you know, what is the point of having so many tables and chairs when there's already a table and chair set up here? This is gonna be a nice little loungy, area i'm definitely gonna have the sofa reupholstered in a unique fabric which is great so we're in this process at zero dollars so far so if we can get some good fabric and get it reupholstered i think it could be such a show-stopping like sofa and it's perfect for the space it's so comfortable too for watching tv and of course out here i kind of want to keep this a little bit more formal so i don't want to put a tv above the fireplace it's just so comfortable so i already know like the base of it is going to be so incredible to sit on and just like lounge on and have guests so um, I just love this space as a little TV room. I think it's so cute. Now, Marie is actually over in the Lone Fox. What are we calling this, Marie? This is the this is storage room, room, stock room. Marie's bedroom. This is Marie's bedroom. 
So this little room, which is right off of the hallway right here, is the Lone Fox storage room. So as you guys know, at the current apartment, we have a three bedroom. Uh, the third bedroom is converted into the storage room, but it's a pretty small room. This room's definitely a little bit bigger, so there's more space. And Marie has started organizing. Do you wanna give us a tour? Organizing away. So first and foremost, this is the faux floral station. <laughs> The station for florals. So when Drew needs to fill a vase, put some little flowers in a little corner, he just come over here and go shopping. Yeah, it's literally like a little shop. So coming. <laughs> coming with the flowers. And the reason I have all of this, guys, is because I love stocking up on, you know, additional items I can use for room makeovers or just like when I did the Sones of Family makeover. I used so much of my own decor that I had saved. So I love just having this on hand for when I do different projects. I just loved this idea of hanging the, it's um... Easy to see. I feel like we also, Marie, could probably get hangers with clips. Yeah. To clip the pillow covers yeah. on. But I love this. Like, this yeah. is so good. And then additional uh, bedding storage down here. And then Marie's most excited about this here. Right, what? your pillow tower. Oh, oh, I literally forgot it was there. <laughs> I um, spent hours researching the best ways to store excess pillows. Throw pillows. And I found this contraption. We will link it for you guys below, along with all of the shelving if you are curious. Everything, I think, was from Amazon. So this is essentially like a throw pillow tower. Um, again, in the old apartment, I just had so many throw pillows smushed into these shelvings, um, and it just didn't make sense. You couldn't see any of them. Like, it was just not really useful so we got this throw pillow tower to fill this little corner area anyways and i'm sure it'll be filled sometime but i tend to use these quite often and reach for them so it's nice to have them just all just available and then the same shelving is going to be used in here as the current lone fox room and then we're using the same exact crates from joanne's fabrics i love these you can actually get them on sale for like ten dollars i think they're really cute though and they're a great size so you're able to put quite a bit inside so marie's already done cock filler and sandpaper stain there's spray paint here more spray paint and then hardware down here if you guys remember in the old storage room I had that little urban outfitters drawer system that had like 16 drawers which is such an incredible storage piece I will link it as well I kind of outgrew it over time and drawers started to get cram packed so we actually could just converted it over to these little um, plastic dividers and so all of the drawer items are inside but I love how you can like see everything but it all has a place so at least everything's kind of organized but you can see it all which is great and then across the top of the shelves will be my additional decor elements that I find so when I'm out thrifting and you know I find additional lamps or just accessories and such I have this area up here to store those and I also have the basement to store those in too Tea. Oh, and then to the left of the flower wall, there's this little archway here. It's actually just like additional storage space. So this is just gonna be, you know, additional storage that we could put even more supplies and extra items inside of. This light has gotta go. Um, something I'll say is that I know the previous owner because I toured this home when he was still living here. The original fixture was up here and he took it. So I don't know if it was like a prized possession or he just liked it, but he replaced it with this, which should have been illegal. I also realized I forgot to share with you guys the second coat of plaster. And here it is. Let me flip the camera. The second coat got so much smoother. Like look at that clean finish that we were able to achieve. It looks perfect, exactly how I wanted it to look like. I just love it so much and I hope that you guys do as well. And look what else arrived this morning that I popped in these windows, you guys. These are the mullions that I got for these. And I originally was gonna get the same exact mullions that I used in the living room, if you remember. It's just like your traditional kind of like center and then um, four or three little pieces that go across horizontally. But when I was looking at that and thinking about it, I was getting so annoyed by the idea of the lanterns not lining up with the lines. And when you're at a different angle, they're just kind of like randomly in different spots. So I decided to actually go with the diamond shape because I thought that it would give more of a background to the window and let the lantern sit in front of it. And I love the way that that looks. I feel like it also adds just like a touch of old world to this space, which I really like. I love the plaster walls and everything. So let me know your guys' thoughts on those diamond mullions, but I think they're really great. And I also wanna show you the view of them from here because I think it's such a pretty view. Like this little view right here with the diamond window, it's just so charming with the little lantern in there. I feel like the diamonds also kind of soften the gothic lantern, which I love. 
And then the room in the back here is going to be the studio, as I like to call it. This will be where I create DIY projects. It has great lighting back here, and um, it is the primary bedroom in the lower unit. This will be converted in a sense that maybe there's some really pretty storage here, so not those black shelves in the other room. That room is just more so for actual storage. It doesn't need to look great. And so I think some beautiful shelving here, um, maybe like a big work table in the middle or something, and just areas that I'm able to shoot photos for the website because I take all the imagery for the online shop and I'm able to have like maybe a work desk in here and just have a great space to come and work. And then of course the backyards out here, which we still have no idea what to do with. It's just a big concrete slab, which I'm definitely very lucky to have, but I just don't exactly know what I want to do back there yet. But we have quite a few other spaces to work with. And then through here, um, more additional storage right here. I think I'm going to take the doors off of this and like do open, some sort of open shelving situation. Situation. And then of course we have the pink and yellow bathroom, which is, it's just so cute. I absolutely love it. Um, but that's gonna be kind of a later project as well. We're actually going to install a couple of little racks here to hold some of the power tools so that we can start getting those just in an area so they're not just everywhere all over the place. These are little tool hangers that we got and I'm just gonna mount them across uh, this beam here because this is definitely attached to the stud. Hello guys, we have some exciting things happening in the house today. Now, first thing is that mine and Marie's rooms, our bedrooms that are gonna be in the house, are being painted white, which is exciting because currently everything in the house, like you probably can't really tell, but this wall over here, which way am I going? Oh my gosh. Why do I have no sense of direction right now? Okay, right here. Um, this wall right here and everything in the house, like you can even see down the hallway, is all painted yellow. So we actually ended up hiring a painter just to do a coat of white all over everything. And I'm doing Simply White by Benjamin Moore. And I can tell my room is actually already almost done. He started earlier this morning. But there's going to be painting, marble, and some other fun things. You can really see the yellow in this room for sure. It's kind of pretty, honestly, on camera. But in person, it is such like a butter yellow color. And with the white, you can just see the contrast so harshly. So we're going in with a white coat, which just looks incredible. It really gives like a solid look. And the coved corners, I just love the way that they look when it flows into the ceiling. And I also love the trim because we can maybe even do like wallpaper in the middle of some of these rooms or like on the ceiling in some of these rooms, but it have the coved edges that go up and then it's trimmed out. Like imagine wallpaper up here. That is such a good idea. I just thought of that. I was covering the audio here, but this is my bedroom painted simply white by Benjamin Moore. It's looking great. This is very exciting as well because the marble is getting installed in the uppers. So as you guys remember, I had quite a bit of marble left over when I did the kitchen install. The pieces are cut and they are going to be installed right now, which is so exciting. I cannot wait to see how that's going to look because I feel like it's just going to be like one very tall marble hutch situation, which is going to look so good. They're finishing up the marble right over here and we're actually going to be doing a aging sealer on the marble. So on the backsplashes all around, there is essentially a sealer that you can apply that's going to intensify the veining in the marble. We had to order the product and now it's here. So we're gonna apply it on and I'm gonna share with you guys how much it actually transforms the marble. All right guys, the ager is going on.
Good morning, everyone. It feels so good to be back in the kitchen. Now, it's actually been about two weeks since I last filmed the previous clips. I ended up going home for Christmas and just working on a couple other projects. And when I went home, I actually started editing together the footage and I was like, I really don't have enough to create a video. So I knew I wanted to film some more when I got back so I could give you guys more of an in-depth video. So I just have some pretty exciting updates to share with you. Um, I mean, the first thing that you guys saw was that we ended up aging the marble, which is essentially means that you put a sealer on it that penetrates into the marble that intensifies the veining. So it is a very, very quick process and all you do is you wipe it on. So essentially like you're cleaning off the marble but you're cleaning it with a sealing product and it intensifies the veining. So if you could see our veining is just quite a bit darker, which is what I wanted. The green is coming out so much more. The red's coming out. Like that's why I purchased some marble. And when it got honed, because when I saw the marble slab it was actually polished so once it was honed it really kind of drops down the intensity of the color of the marble and I still wanted that matte finish but I would love to bring back some of that intensity and this sealer really did that like it brought in all of the dark colors so much depth into the marble and even over here like you can just see how deep the color is before it was just a little more almost powdery is what I could say it had like a powder coat over the top of it where it looked almost dusty whereas this kind of removed that and it really shows the veining well like I just love all the colors within I don't think I can ever get tired of this view right here honestly I can't but I have to share with you guys what the marble in the uppers look like look at that you guys I just honestly have no words just I don't have words for how beautiful this looks and I was able to achieve this with remnants and I'm going to tell you that when they put these up originally and I saw them at night I was like I don't like this like I don't like how the veining's going down like this I just wasn't obsessed with it but the second they put that intensifying sealer on and it brought out the dark veins it just all started to make sense and I absolutely love the layout of marble like it's so interesting especially when you start adding things in the shelves because of course there's there's always going to be something in these shelves, a good majority of items, I'm sure. So it's going to cover up some of the marble, making it look more seamless. I just find this to look so interesting. And the great thing is, is I only had to pay for the fabrication of these top pieces because I already had these leftover marble chunks from the kitchen. So the impact that this created is just incredible. I love it so much. And I cannot wait to share it with you when it's actually, you know, brighter because it is so dark in here right now. I'm really having to like compensate for lighting and turn it up on the camera okay we have not styled something on the channel in I don't even know how long like we've just been doing renovation honestly this is one of the spaces I'm most excited about in the kitchen and honestly like the upper unit of the apartment I have one item that I'm so excited to put you guys first thing I gotta put in the coffee bar is this antique carved mortar and pestle. I know it makes no sense for coffee bar, but I knew when I got this at Olive Atelier that it was going in the open shelving. This is not an item that I would actually use, you know, as an antique mortar and pestle. I, you definitely could if you wanted to, but it's something that I more so want to use as a display piece to just display it kind of on one of the shelves. Copper is going to be a huge element um, in these shelvings as well. I really think copper is going to bring life to this space. Even though there's so much light, I just feel like the shine and the warmth that it gives off is going to create the perfect amount of warmth um, over in the coffee bar. I think maybe some little simple tapers could be nice. My fake breads, of course. I've been trying to source these fake breads for the store forever, ever since I found them. I can't find these anywhere, guys. They are insanely realistic. Now this is what I am talking about. This is the coziest little coffee bar ever. Now this is not styled exactly how it's going to be styled, of course. I just kind of implemented items that I have in the home. These are, of course, pieces I bought for this style of house. Um, so they definitely, I feel like they go, but this isn't exactly what I'm gonna be using. I just literally only have this many decor elements in the entire home. So beautiful, I love it. It is just perfect. It's exactly what I was thinking. I also mentioned that an exciting package arrived this morning, more like 
an exciting palette arrived this morning and I'm gonna share with you guys what we got. Look what arrived this morning! All of the tile for the kitchen, the breakfast nook, the laundry room, and I could not be more excited to break into these packages. But I'm hoping that these of course look very similar to the samples, so let's break these open and check them out. I see some. Here is one box opened, and this is what the tile looks like. I just love the color so much. It has slight variations between tiles, so some of them might be a little darker, some of them might be a little lighter, and I do think as well as we open different packs of tile, we're probably gonna get different variation in color. Now, if you guys remember, I'm gonna lay these in a brick formation. So they're gonna be a square shape, but laid in a brick pattern, which I think is gonna create a lot of interest with the flooring and almost make them look a little bit more like cobblestone, which I'm excited about. So this is the flooring that's gonna be going throughout the kitchen, breakfast nook. Maybe, maybe in here, my might be some of our brick tiles. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at these, you guys. How gorgeous are those? Like the different variation in color is just perfect. And of course the thickness was something that I was really looking for is something on the thinner side that still had an kind of antique finish to it. You can even see how some of the squares like this one, for example, is much lighter than this one. So there's definitely gonna be variation in the color. So we're gonna have to kind of play around with placement of the tile. Just got back home and I forgot to film an outro. Typical me, uh, but I am so Excited to start on that tile. It is here. The kitchen's almost done. I'm excited to learn something new and I hope that you guys loved this video as well. I would like to know if the more kind of chatty videos like these are interesting for you because I know I wasn't doing too much actual physical labor in this video, if that makes sense. I was more so kind of talking and giving you updates and sharing kind of things that I couldn't really do myself. And so I hope that was still of interest. Let me know if you guys like kind of more chatty videos because I'm someone that when I'm editing, I can't watch watch myself talk for a long period of time. But like, are you interested in hearing me talk for a long period of time? Like, maybe it's just me. But yes, I will catch you all in my next one. I hope that you guys loved this video and believe it or not, we are gonna start packing this apartment tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Bye guys. <laughs>